make sure that our education system is bringing us together. That's Governor Ron DeSantis defending the book ban policy in Florida, saying certain subjects are divisive. The governor was in Tampa today. He talked about how the book ban narrative has gotten out of control. He even called it a hoax. Some local leaders believe the book bans have gone too far. ABC 27's Ariel Schiller tells us what they had to say. We've heard a lot about book bans in the state of Florida, but Governor Ron DeSantis is clarifying the only books that are being pulled from school shelves had sexual themes in them and that Florida students are still getting a strong and rigorous education. Local education leaders, though, are saying politics need to stay out of the classroom. Scott Mazur, president of the Leon Classroom Teachers Association, says teachers need to be focusing on things like COVID learning loss and student behavior. It's unfortunate right now that we have um, powerful people that are trying to politicize our classrooms when all that we're trying to do is support our communities and our students. Local bookstores had started carrying books that are considered inappropriate in Florida classrooms. Bookstores like Common Ground Books, who has a banned books section. The owner of the store weighing in on the governor's comments, saying in part, you may not like a book, you may not agree with it, and that's okay, but that does not mean it should be banned. Read it or not, that is the decision of a school, an individual, or of a child and their parent. Under a new state law passed last year, a parent can challenge materials in school classrooms or libraries if they contain materials not age appropriate. Since the passing of the law, new training requirements have rolled out in the selection of library materials. Governor DeSantis did note during his press conference that most school districts didn't have any problems with banned books. Reporting in Tallahassee, Ariel Schiller, ABC 27.